Welcome to the Peace Feel Farm channel today, where we ask the question, can you heat your home without a furnace? The answer, yes. Here's how. Top left, you can see the date, February 20 of 2020. Time, 727 AM, minus 16.1 degrees outside, 68.5 degrees inside. This is one of our two air source heat pumps. There's the other one. We use them for both heating and cooling. Right now it's about minus 16 outside. And yes, you can still get heat into the house even though it's minus 16 outside. And I'm gonna show you the inside temperature next. This is the inside half of the air source heat pump. I'll show you in a minute the temperature of air that it's putting out. But heat pumps um, are kind of confusing to some folks because they don't understand how they work. But really a refrigerator is a heat pump too. And a heat pump is just a device that moves heat from one place to another. So once you imagine that even if the air outside is minus 16, that the air can be colder than that it's removing the air source heat pump is removing heat from that minus 16 air and putting it into the house so right now the air source heat pump is putting air into the house at about 83 degrees The brick heater heats off peak, which means that it comes on at night, stays on until the morning. The electric company controls when they turn on the heat and how much heat they're able to uh, put into the bricks, which is fine. It has not been a problem at all having them control it, but that's why you get the good rate. So typically we're paying about 14 cents per kilowatt hour for peak electricity and it's about five and a half cents per kilowatt hour to heat this brick heater. So it's quite economical. Right now, after heating overnight, the top of the brick heater is about 113 degrees. We have a sunny day here today, so in combination with the sun, And the brick heater will have plenty of heat for this house today. This is our masonry wood stove. You can see the fan is circulating air back down. So the brick heater is on the left, masonry heater in the center. It's very efficient wood stove. We burn maybe a half a cord of wood a year. When it gets real cold is when we use it most of the time. When I say re real cold, I mean like nights below zero that aren't sunny. If we get a sunny day like it is today, the sun will heat the house enough so that uh, just the brick heater will give us enough heat to keep it toasty warm in here. This burns air from the outside. There's a piece of ductwork that goes from the outside into the stove, so we're not, we're not burning air that we've already preheated. We're taking outside air for combustion, which makes it much more efficient. There's chambers inside of this wood stove to help the efficiency tremendously. So you're burning wood in here and then the airflow goes up and down and around and up like this and then out the chimney. So that helps make it efficient as well. It also makes a trap 
for cold air when you're not using it so the cold air just doesn't come in and continuously flow up the stack. The windows that we have in our house are very unique also. They're called tilt and turn. They're triple pane. You can open them like this. Or you can open them from the top like that. That's the way we use them mostly in the summertime, open from the top. So you might ask, how can you heat a house, 1,800 square foot house, without using a furnace? Here's where you start. You start with insulation. About eight, the walls are about 18 inches thick, as you can see here. Our home is considered a passive solar net energy home. What this means is that uh, passive solar means a lot of windows that face the south, let the sun shine in, and can heat the house that way. Net zero means that we produce at least as much energy as we consume. Uh, these solar panels in the background make our electricity for us. This is about half of what 16,000 pounds of insulation looks like. This is cellulose. It was dense packed. Uh, into the cavities and wall spaces. On the outside of the 16,000 pounds of insulation, we used a material called Roxel, which is a mineral wool. So that completes the uh, total insulation package of our home. Here you can see one of our crew installing the Roxel. Those wood blocks are spaces for the siding to be attached to. Our home is Energy Star certified. And what this means is that an organization came in, looked at our house, and included information in their appraisal of how we do things around here. Looked at all of our appliances, how we heat and cool the home, um, our solar, our solar uh, insul installation, how much energy we use. And at the end of all that, they give us a score. Lower left side, you can see minus seven. What that means is that a typical home built to code in 2015 when we built this house would have a score of about 100. So our score being minus seven means that our house is significantly more efficient than homes built to code in 2015. We are one of the most energy efficient homes in East Central Minnesota and quite proud of that. Quick summary, the way you can heat and cool your home without a furnace is to install good windows, good doors. You have to pay attention to the direction that your house is oriented and literally you use tons and tons of insulation in the house. It costs a little up front, a little more, but really it'll pay for itself. It's an investment in lower energy bills for the rest of the time you are living in that house. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.